a lot of people ask me what grout I use. I try to buy a sanded, black, flexible, exterior quality grout suitable for swimming pools. If I can't find what I want, this is the recipe I use for my grout. Here I have 250 grams of charcoal flexible exterior grout, 50 grams of very fine children's play pit sand, and 25 grams of black powder pigment. Mix the three dry ingredients together. I use these soap bottles because of this nozzle. It keeps the flow of water down and controllable because you don't want the grout to be too wet. Using a basic cooking spatula, I mix the dry ingredients up before adding water. Then I gradually add it, little by little, stirring well each time. Only I add a little at a time because it does suddenly change from too dry to too wet. You can see the grout is very dry, but at the bottom, I don't have any water. And that's the thing that can cause trouble with your finish. This is the mosaic that we have been making over the last week. And now we're going to finish it with the grout that we have just made and a dry piece of towel. I never use wet sponges and cloths and water to clean my mosaics. It makes a horrible mess. You're left with black grouty water to dispose of and a horrible black dye all over the desk. In this dry method, you can just dispose of the unused grout along with the towel, then sweep up the desk and just dispose of the dry residue as normal. Wearing some gloves to protect my hands both from the glass and the dye, I'm going to take a handful of the grout and spread it in, but keeping my fingers fairly flat. Push and spread. You can use grout spreaders, but I just get, find it easier with my hands to do this. If your gloves catch on a piece of glass, stop and investigate. See what it is. It might be a small splinter, maybe a piece that's not stuck down properly. Now you want to go back and remove any excess grout. It is a little bit difficult around these nuggets and pieces that stand out. Just take as much as of the excess from the surface as you can. Make sure that it's in the gaps at the side there and up in your top corners. Now, while it's still wet, take a piece of dry towel and rub it over the surface. And what you're doing now is pushing it into any gaps that have been missed and slightly cleaning off the upper surface. But you don't want to scrub too hard because you don't want to pull the ground out of the gaps. You're just gently cleaning the surface like this. Go around the nuggets and if anywhere has been missed, it helps push it into those gaps.
Now leave that to dry for five or ten minutes until it starts to look powdery on the upper surface. For cleaning up my work I often use these brushes which you can buy in sets or singly. There's a steel one here, a brass one and a plastic one. They're quite soft, almost like suede brushes. This one I'm going to use to clean around the nuggets to get the excess grout out. And this one I will use when I'm cleaning the mosaic and polishing it right at the end to scrub off any gluey bits and grout that is on the upper surface of the mosaic. People worry that these metal brushes will actually scratch the surface of your glass. It won't damage it, although one of the harder ones that you would clean a barbecue or rust from a garden bench, those might scratch the mirror, but they won't harm the stained glass. We've left our mosaic to dry for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to start cleaning it off using the same piece of towel that I wiped it down with originally. You'll really be able to see the colours come out just by having left it for a few minutes and it's a lot less hard work. Okay, I'm just going to have a little clean up around here. Because you've not involved any water in the cleaning process, all you need to do is just sweep up the dust residue from the grout and dispose of it in a normal way. I'm going to use this nylon brush to clean over the surface of the mosaic. This will help in areas like this here, which is slightly thinner glass than the stuff around it. And so the grout is caught and here around the ladybirds and around the nuggets where there's some excess grout. So keeping the brush flat, just scrub over it. It'll also help clean out from any textured glass that you may have used. Just go around the ladybirds and around the nuggets. And you can see it's just cleaning it up a little bit more. Down to the end. There we go. There's quite a lot of nuggets here, so just gently go around it. And again, don't press too hard because you don't want to take it right out of the gaps. You only really want to clean the excess off from the surface. Using the cloth, go up and down the sides and make sure that these gaps have still got their grout in them. And of course, don't forget to wipe the back. Having left this for another 10 or 15 minutes to dry, I'm now going to use a clean piece of towel and I'm going to give it another wipe. There we go. That's it now. Just leave that to dry for about 24 hours. You can test it with your fingernail to see if the grout is really dry. And then we're going to give it a wash in some warm soapy water and scrub it down with a stiff brush until it's nice and sparkling. You can see in areas like this, there was a little bit of glue on the upper surface there. And here there's some, there and there, and particularly there. Don't worry about those. If it doesn't come off in the wash, you can scrape it off with a single-sided razor blade at the end. So there you go, there's your completed piece. The last short video is washing, polishing and checking any sharp bits have been removed. And then you'll have a completed mosaic.